Mr. Wallace, welcome to Minneapolis. Uh, well, thank you, Patty. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm David Lewski. Oh, How are you? hi. Okay, David and David. We only just met. He's writing a piece on the tour. I knew David Lipsky's book. I loved the quality of the conversation that these two men had. So reading this, this screenplay, it just was this elegant, lovely conversation. In making the film, there was always a desire, and sort of the litmus test was, this needs to be a film that works for people that don't know yes. either of these writers. Right. How do you learn like to do this stuff? Do what? The interviewing. Like, does one go to interviewing school? <laughs> um, no, no, I'm... Uh, I'm a writer. Ah, okay. Yeah. Great. I mean, I write fiction. Writers have crushes on other writers. It's both exhilarating and terrifying to be in the presence of someone who you admire so unabashedly. That's sort of the, the wonderful situation that's encapsulated in our movie, is Lipsky, the acolyte, wanting the approval mm -hmm. of Wallace, but also needing to demonstrate how smart he is and how worthy of that approval he is. If um, they're responding to your work and your work is really personal, then reading you is another way of meeting you, isn't that right? So. That's so good. Thank you. This piece would be excellent, I think, if it's mostly you. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting the way you talk about it, because there is very much uh, Lipsky's desire to measure himself against Wallace, which probably every writer of that generation was doing when Infinite Jest came out. Almost feels like a, a little kid trying to get his attention, trying to make him laugh, and it felt like there was such a status shift. That was what this conversation, that's what this car ride should feel like. If we ate like this all the time, yeah. what would be wrong with that? It's like good, seductive commercial entertainment, like uh, like Die Hard. Uh, first Die Hard? The first Die Hard. Great film. Yes. As far as a story, but journalist and subject to some tiny degree could relate to Wallace because I was just had just been doing press, but mostly I could relate to David Lipsky and what it was to find yourself in the company of someone who's, who's brilliant, who you measure yourself against in a very probably unhealthy way. There was a lot of uh, terror for me in making a film and taking on a film about someone who I felt so deeply for and who mm -hmm. I knew for many, many, many other people. I mean, David mm -hmm. Foster Wallace fans are legion and articulate and they all have very strong feelings. <laughs> but I sort of had to own up to what we would be taking right. on. All of these aspects of my creative and personal life were coming together in this project. And you don't know how grateful I was that you are a part of it. When I think of this trip, I see David and me in the front seat of his car. And the conversation is the best one I ever had. for me whenever I'm kind of afraid my head is going to explode. <laughs> if we ate like this all the time, what would be wrong with that? It's like good, seductive commercial entertainment, like, uh, like Die Hard. Uh, first Die Hard? First Die Hard. Great yes. film. No, it's a brilliant the film. The best.